Hey Virgos, welcome to your general love reading here in January 2020. This is a general and will not resonate with everybody unfortunately, but I do personal readings. So my email will be in the description box as always, along with information about what decks of cards I'll be using in each video. As I was setting up and meditating for Virgos, these cards um, just flew off my table um off the top of another deck um so i've just left them out here because when i looked at the cards um we have the queen of pentacles the four of swords three of cups reversed ace of cups eight of swords seven of cups and the tower um so i'm just gonna first be um getting the usual cards out and then i'll see how if they tie into this reading um, because I do feel like it is a message for somebody so this is why I'm keeping them out okay so let's see new love Virgos okay so new love could be a struggle at the beginning of the year um, but it's definitely going to come into your life if you're open to it um, and I say that it's going to be a struggle because um, if you're a single Virgo, Virgos don't thrive when Venus is in Pisces and that's at the beginning of the year. Um, you're probably better off waiting till around Feb the beginning of February. Um, so we'll see. So you might meet somebody around the beginning of February. It is um, the 24th of January now. So it may be why new love is coming out okay so keep an open mind your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations so i do feel like you may be think love might not be a top priority for you right now okay you may have other things going on you may have just been through a breakup as we see a tower here um seven of cups three of cups could have been through a third party situation and you're still sort of stuck on um that connection or healing from that connection so um Spirit's advice here is to keep an open mind, okay? Um, your soulmate may have changed if this um, has happened to you. Um, we'll see as the cards go on. Um, but like I said, love may not be a top priority for um, single Virgos right now. You may just be like, I'm going to focus on work and um, get myself in order first very soon clearly decide what it is you want so that it comes to you now okay virgos so whether it is somebody from the past um or you want somebody new um i feel like the best time if you already have a crush on somebody the best time to approach them is to wait till venus is in aries for you guys okay um then you can use that sort of fiery energy um, they will appreciate it more. They'll appreciate you fighting for them. If you're dealing with another Virgo, it may be a Virgo that ends up fighting for you around the beginning of February. So, this is the Oracle deck. And we've got two. So, there may be two separate readings going on here, okay? And it says, don't dim to fit in and unbound. Releasing soul patterns, contracts and past lives. So here, let me refer back to these cards here. You may have had a soul contract with somebody to go through this experience. You will have had a soul contract with all of them involved, right? So if there was a third party or multiple people here um, indicated with the Seven of Cups. So somebody could have been cheating with multiple people or multiple times, right? Um, could have even been you cheating um, or talking to lots of people here. Um, and you'd all agreed upon this at that time, but I feel like it's now about closing down cycles. So this is why um, you need to take time to heal from that. It's why you're not moving. It's why um, you may not be interested in love at the moment or even reuniting. Or it could be your soulmate here. I feel like there is love between you both, but you just may not be interested in putting yourself out there shows you have a lot of love to give and you could be feeling um, stuck at this time with this Eight of Swords. This Eight of Swords is like, <clears throat> with Mercury being, you know, your ruler, um, your mind's always strong and very quick-witted, which is usually good for you, but I feel like you can be um, overcritical um, 
at times. So maybe this is, um, you know, what's going on with you. That's why you're not interested in somebody new. You may be focused on um, past relationships and how they turned out. But if that's the case, that would be your soul's lesson to break that cycle. Okay. Um, sometimes we have soul contracts that are meant just for, you know, a bit of time and then the contract ends and we can feel like, well, that's my soulmate. I'm supposed to stay with them forever. Um, but you've got to sort of break that pattern of thinking. Obviously, it's a general. So there is um, lots of different things that could be going on here. It could be somebody not letting go of you. Um, you know, you could be seeing multiple people, right? So here with this don't dim to fit in, I feel like if you're going to meet somebody new, um, just remember to be yourself, you know, um, very beautiful, very quick witted, very clever. Um, so yeah, I feel like stand strong in who you are, you know, um, don't ever feel like, you know, you need to maybe even dumb yourself down, make yourself not as great as you are for somebody else to like accept you. Don't ever do that, right? You guys are fabulous. Don't dim to fit in. So let's get the tarot cards here and we'll see what's going on with you Virgos. So new love, guys. Be open-minded to it, you know, because you want to um, break old patterns, you know, be yourself right from the start. And I did a thinking out loud video about um, a heart prenup. Um, and what I meant in that video was, you know, laying on the table what it is you want and expect from a relationship right at the very beginning. You know, I know people generally want to enjoy the happy times and um, just it's not that we lie. It's maybe we don't tell people straight away what we expect um, from a relationship, where we want it to be heading. Like here, it's like you might want something that's heading towards marriage, you know, and you want to be upfront with people like that. Somebody may just want to have a little bit of fun, right, with the Knight of Wands energy and you was expecting um, marriage because they were saying, you know, I love you and things like that and then you was treated unfairly. Um, you could be waiting for some sort of karmic justice here. Um, and I think in the way that you want it, it won't come. Okay, you've got to learn to look at things from a more loving aspect with the Ace of Cups here. I think you wanted, you know, you thought that, okay, I'm promised this divine justice, but it's not happening quick enough for you. You thought it would have happened by now. But the thing is, um, if you're ascending, you'll clear karma quicker. So things may seem like they're going wrong for you quicker because we see the tower here. So it may be that this relationship ended and then other things went wrong. Um, so you may feel like, well, they're not getting their karma. You don't really want to think like that. Um, and plus, if they're not ascending, karma will come to them slower, right? Um it's not about wishing karma on somebody else. We've got to get to a stage where we are loving and compassionate and understand everybody's point of view. Um, but I feel like somebody's coming rushing towards you, Virgos. It could be a Libra or a fire sign here, um, offering a cup of love. And I feel like um, you may be not interested, but I think with a conversation, like I said about the heart prenup, laying your cards on the table, this is what I expect from a relationship. I'm not in it just for fun, or I am in it just for fun, will help you out here. So this is, yeah, it's like clearly decide what you want so that it can come to you, right? If you're not looking for anybody and you're closed off completely until you've healed, because we do have the Four of Swords over here. So if you're not looking for anybody, then fair enough, you want to put that time into healing yourself and it's not fair to get into a relationship with another person. You don't want to end up hurting another person. I get it. Um, so this somebody is coming um, towards you. So, you know, um, it may be that you was dealing with a karmic partner and that's why you have these soul patterns to end, right? Because you don't want to, you've dealt with this karma now. You don't want to relive the same lesson. 
So don't worry about that either. Don't worry about that everybody's going to be the same. Just be honest and open and loving and compassionate here with the Ace of Cups. You have an opportunity for a new love if you're ready, Virgos. It is coming soon, it says. So, yeah. Nine of Cups. So this is your wish being granted, right? Um, I th I feel like in regards to work... Things is a real great time for your career, um, things that you want to manifest like money and um, physical things. That's a really great time for you right now. It's like your wish being granted. I feel like if you are searching for love and I mean like you're single, you're not holding out for anybody from the past. This is the opportunity that will come up for you um, in February. Like I say, um, it's not a great time for Virgos when... Venus is in Pisces so we wait for it to go into Aries and then this person appears like a genie's made you know granted you a wish here um if you're not looking for love and you're healing I get it because it is like there's two separate things going on here um it seems like those who are ready for love here is the main read and this side read if you're healing um People are making you offers with the Seven of Cups, Three of Cups reversed. You're just not ready. I get it. You're um, going through a lesson of breaking and releasing soul um, patterns, right? So I get it. You're trying to become unstuck because we see the Eight of Swords, you know, indicating somebody being stuck. We had the card unbound so you know you're trying to free yourself from a karmic relationship that you've been going through you may have judged it as a very divine relationship um, but I feel like <clears throat> when you're ready an actual divine one here will come in because we see the king of swords now um, very fair just again could be an indication of a Libra and Aquarius coming in um, could just be the fact that you know it's Aquarius season when you meet this person but I feel like this person's going to treat you more fairly more just more honest and communication being very important right and I feel this person will be very quick-witted to be able to keep up with your um, quick mind as well like I said you guys are ruled by Mercury let's see so with the seven of cups over there um Let's see if I can put it somewhere else. Yeah, with the Seven of Cups over here, um, I feel like uh, when Mercury retrogrades um, this year, um, it will be in three watery signs. So logic will go out of the window for you guys. It's like, no, I'm trusting my intuition and things like that. So be careful during the mercury retrogrades okay because three of them at least three of them are in watery signs and it's like you'll feel like everything's coming to a standstill again as we go out i think the first one is actually in february so yeah i'll try and look that up uh, for you guys and put it in the february general so that you can have more information but yeah definitely watch out you may find that if you're in a committed relationship during these times things may get confusing um you may end up hurt from these situations and things like that coming up in february let's see <laughs> the emperor okay so yeah um you might be coming across as um, very stubborn to people. I think it's just how you keep your you know, world in order because that's what the emperor does. He's like in charge. So he has to be the strong one, right? And I think that's you. You just have to be the strong one and keep things going for everybody else. And they may perceive you as stubborn, pushy, you know, arrogant. But I feel like you're just trying to keep you know, your world together and what's left of your world. And like I said, if this is a new um, relationship, those of you who are interested in a new relationship coming towards you here, the person may have a significant age difference from you, but they could also be the one who seems like they might come across as controlling, but they're not. And this is why you have to keep an open mind. They like fairness. They want to be just. 
so they want to speak clear so it might come across as blunt but they just want to be clear on their intentions right and a lot of people want honesty don't they they say you know i want it real i want it honest and when people give them it they can't handle it so just be aware of that because i think people could be treating you like that so you may understand this person who's coming towards you because people have treated you like that you're not egotistical you're not arrogant you're just um in control and when people need help they call on you and because you get things done but then afterwards they may say you know oh well they're pushy but you know they didn't mind while you were getting things done so another ace here ace of swords so a chance for clarity to come in so communication coming in and this is all that I'm saying. This person just wants to be very clear with you. Have this conversation up front about, um, you know, what are you looking for in life? Where are you heading? What are your goals? Um, what's your star sign even? You know, um, and I think like it's a beautiful opportunity. It's a beautiful breakthrough in sort of a relationship status. So I think you should keep an open mind in welcoming new love into your life. Um, two aces in your reading. Um, it's a great opportunity here. Good things happening for you here. At the end of January into the beginning of February. Somebody wants to come rushing in now. Because we see um, the Knight of Wands taking action. The King of Swords meaning speed and justice and fairness. So if you have any sort of maybe a divorce or something going on. It seems that um, you'll be things will be filed in your favour here. You get justice at last. And as I said that, the Nine of Pentacles come out. And, you know, you're telling me, look, I'll remain single. I'll focus on work and my own personal growth here. So maybe it is some people just getting a divorce as well. Um, and, you know, quite happy to remain alone. Um, especially for this period of time where they're growing, they're healing, and they're just nurturing and looking after themselves. I feel like, you know, it's going to be very important to feed yourself. Um, maybe some people stress and they don't want to eat, but it'd be very important for them people to feed themselves during this time. Um, so, yeah, we do have two nines as well here. So maybe check out what's going on in your ninth house. Okay, let's see. And we have the Seven of Pentacles and the Strength. Um, so being able to control yourself and not speak out of turn and things like that, or not being able to speak to people about what's been going on has been very difficult for you, which is understandable. Um, because I feel like your mind could be racing at 100 miles an hour because I that's how I feel I'm talking. Um, but if you don't actually get to speak it out loud, it can be very difficult. So you may um, want at this time during January somebody to talk to about this and that could be, you know, whoever you end up talking to, you have this shared, um, you know, problem that people receive you as pushy but you know um they don't mind you doing everything for them sort of thing you know you see it as a strength this person sees it as a strength that you know you can get the job done when needed but i feel like it's some sort of difficulty in not being able to speak to people about it you'd be looking for good conversations and you just can't find the people um so you're sort of trying to do this work on your own, control your own inner urges, your own inner beast and demons here with the strength card. And you'll overcome this um, in a way that only a Virgo can. Okay, guys? So like I said, I'll leave the information of what decks of cards I use in the description box. Good luck and I'll see you in February.